In this video, we're going to take a look at exporting our project from Construct 3 using Cordova. This is the same project we've been using in the past videos. I've just imported it straight into Construct 3. There is no difference in setup other than the Construct 3 interface if you want to use Ultimate Ads in Construct 3 instead of Construct 2. Once you've got your project finished and you've set up the Ultimate Ads plugin to include your AdMob ads, you can export your game with Cordova. Click on Menu, go to Project, and click on Export. Go ahead and select Android Cordova and click Next. From here, you can choose to deduplicate images, which removes any duplicate images from your project. Recompress images, which can reduce your file size but will take longer to export. And finally, Minify Script. I'll just choose to minify the script and click Next. Here, we can choose the minimum version of Android we'd like to target, as well as how we'd like to export our project under Android Build. When using the Ultimate Ads plugin, we need to alter the config file before we build our APK, so you have to use Cordova Project here. Go ahead and click Next, and Construct 3 begins building our game. This can take a while, so I'll skip forward. And now it's finished exporting. Download the zip file that Construct has created for us. Next, extract the files from the zip file. and open the folder. If you're going to build your project using PhoneGap, you'll need to edit the config.xml file by adding one line of code. If you'll be using Cocoon to build the project, you won't need the config file at all, so you can skip the next step. If you are building with PhoneGap, open up the config.xml file in Notepad. Make sure to open config.xml and not the config.json file. Unfortunately, this config script is minified whether or not you choose minify when exporting, which makes it difficult to read. But we don't really need to read anything here. Just add a line right after this platform tag, but before this closing widget tag. We need a line of code here to specify that we're using the Cocoon AdMob plugin. I'll put the line of code in the description below, but I'm not able to put the opening and closing brackets in the description. So go ahead and put in opening and closing brackets, and then paste this line of code between them. Save the config file, and close it down. Now, if you're going to be building with PhoneGap, you'll want to select everything and zip it up again. This is the file we will upload to PhoneGap to build our APK. If you're going to be using Cocoon to build the project, Go inside the www folder, select everything contained within, and zip it up. This zip file is what we'll use to upload to Cocoon and build from there. At this point, we're ready to move on to building our project for release. In the next video, we'll take a look at the first of two options we have, using PhoneGap to build our release APK.